to my channel, Mystic Meeks. Hope you guys are doing good. I'm about to go to the gym, so I'm <laughs> just sitting in the parking lot right now and trying to charge my phone. But today we're gonna do a pick a card. We're gonna see what is gonna surprise you next. So we got two options. I'm gonna put the options on the screen if you guys wanna choose your pile. Also, just want to let you guys know I'm not doing personal readings and I am selling my decks, Oracle and Tarot decks on my Etsy shop. If you guys are interested in those, put a lot of hard work into making them. <laughs> um, and yeah, also thankful for the people who have been buying my decks, the print at home versions too, and just purchasing things from my shop and liking my videos and commenting even if i don't reply to your comments i do read them <laughs> um but i do have like my other youtube channel and my other social media so sometimes i just don't have enough time to reply to everybody in their comments um but yeah let's get started so pile one What's about to surprise you next? We're using my mini tarot. Okay, we have eight of swords. I need to say wands. It's about to surprise you next. Heard a breath of fresh air, the moon in reverse. So something you've been feeling trapped or burdened with um, is definitely going to go away. Some of you with the moon in reverse, it could be like you felt like you had to keep something quiet or um, not really speak up or just felt like you had to hold back and you're going to get the opportunity to like not hold back anymore or express yourself. This could also be like you figure out a solution to get out of something, like you thought you were trapped by something, um, but you're actually not. Yeah, something that you thought was going to be really difficult or currently is very difficult or just taking a toll on you um, isn't going to anymore. Some of you could be literally anything uh, it could be with another person could be with a living situation a work situation so this could come in as an idea I feel like this is gonna be once you tap into like your emotions some of you once you like journal you're gonna figure out like a solution to something or figure out how easy something could be. Yeah, cause some of you felt like this was like taking over your mind or your life or just taking over your thoughts every day. Three of Pentacles. There's definitely a perspective change. Some of you with the Three of Pentacles could be like a third party um, situation. Maybe you just kept thinking about it. You weren't able, felt like you couldn't get over what happened. And then it's like you changed your perspective. And now you don't feel like so heartbroken or stuck over it. Some of you may also realize that someone was purposely trying to make you feel trapped. Yeah, so that you wouldn't be able to succeed. I'm hearing the door is right there, so... This is only for a few of you. Could be a fire sign or an earth sign who's trying to make you feel like you're trapped in something or that you need them to get out of it or you need their help. So someone could be trying to make you feel like 
you're codependent on them when you're really not. It's like you could easily do something without this person. So what's about to shock you is like realizing something isn't as it seems at all. And it's a good thing. Um, like you won't feel so burdened by it anymore. So that's what I'm saying for pile one. So now we're gonna do pile two. What's about to shock you next? Or surprise you next? Okay, so I'm gonna just turn on their headlights and they literally just fucking went into my eyes. Queen of Cups, reverse. Ace of Wands, reverse. Four of Wands. Right away I heard your mother, so this could have to do with your mom or mother figure. Or it could just have to do with a female. It's about to surprise you next. Okay, some of you, this is you, are about to surprise yourself. Because you're walking away from uh, a female. Some of you, you could be moving out of like your parents' house or your mother's house, aunt's house. Like you're moving on from a female. Because this female has not been making you happy. Or bringing joy into your life. For others of you, what's about to shock you, this is only for some of you, is there could be a female, like, moving on from you or leaving your life. Some of you, this could be maybe an ex or something. Someone that you thought was going to stay around for a long time, but they're actually moving on. So you may see that this person's dating new people or just trying to find their happiness. But again, if that's not your situation, then it's you moving on from a female to find your own happiness. Could be like this person was causing a creative block with the Ace of Wands or affecting your root chakra. Or again, this does have to do with your home or house, maybe because you lived with them. We have Ace of Swords. Heard someone doesn't want to talk, so maybe you just don't want to talk to someone anymore. Or you just tell someone off, you tell them how it is, and then you move on. You're like over a situation, or again, you know, some of you, it's person moving on from you could be a person moving on from you because there hasn't been clear communication devil card so this could be a karmic situation I heard someone just wants to move on, so I don't know if this is you or someone, a female in your life, but someone wants to see what else is out there. Maybe you are what's about to surprise yourself is you're about to like end a relationship, I feel, whether it's platonic or like a love interest. Someone on here could be literally breaking up with someone. Or it's like you express feelings and emotions and this person just doesn't, doesn't get it or doesn't want to get it. 
there's like a stubborn energy in this. So I don't know if this is someone thinking that you're stubborn or you're thinking that someone else is stubborn, but just not being able to see each other's point of view, especially this person. Okay, so let's clarify Six of Swords. Some of you are moving, traveling, or this person's moving or traveling. Maybe you two live together. Yeah, I think I said this in the beginning. <laughs> now you're moving out, or this person's moving out. Knight of Wands. There's like a lack of effort on someone's end. So I don't know if this is you or them. It's not really effort, it's like more of communication and understanding. Like one person is just not communicating in a good way or not even communicating at all. Yeah, this is someone that you've known since you were younger. Could be childhood or yeah, I'm hearing school, since school, or this person raised you. Yeah, this could be an earth sign or water sign. I don't know, did I say the signs? I'm getting it mixed up with the pile one now. Because they're kind of similar. But yeah, that's what I see for pile two. Hope that resonates, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!